And even though the Sandy Hook tragedy happened hundreds of miles away from the southern tier, that didn't stop these folks from walking 27 minutes at, 27 minutes at Otsenango Park to honor the 27 that died, ending with blowing bubbles for the 20 children that were killed despite the gloomy weather. Organizers say it was so touching to see such a great turnout. It was just a great testament to a community coming together. A lot of us didn't know each other, but we're all here for each other as well as those families. And it was a phenomenal experience and something I'm very proud to have been a part of. Jones's seven-year-old daughter came up with the idea of making a poster and a book for everyone to sign. They also collected donations to be sent to Connecticut to help the affected families.